So you too, it's your boy King Say something. I'm back before we get to it. Make sure you like and subscribe as you always watch for video. Well to 2K. Fans are speculating that Neek, Carmen, and Kiana may not be cool anymore. It all started after people noticed that at Carmen's birthday party out at that club, Kiana and Neek were spotted hanging out in Jazz's section and not over there with Carmen. They also noticed that Kiana and Neek didn't wish Carmen a happy birthday on social media, but that doesn't mean they didn't reach out to her personally oh and tell her happy birthday. Now, last thing was... And they in the club with her. She was over there with her man. Come on. Like, that don't do much. Carmen had a birthday dinner with some of her friends, and Neek and Kiana weren't at that dinner as well. Yeah, I, think be cool. I, I thought I, I thought I heard you I like your daughter name. today. Look. <laughs> no, when I send the black ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned 26. Got to play about eight men. Now, CJ is still claiming that he is still taking Realty and CJ on 32s to court. Everyone is asking him for proof that he actually filed paperwork on them. He's stating that he doesn't have to show proof and that he's actually going through with what he stated. You know, I'm going to have the biggest testimony of my life because none of you guys have ever faced anything like me. And I don't want to make it seem like I'm bigger than anyone, but I'm facing things that is unheard of all the time from every angle. Every day I wake up, there's a new lie being told. There's a new scam being presented. There's always something, right? It's never just done. It's always something negative going to try to conquer my soul. Because you know what? God made us a very specific way. He made us so that we can only focus on one thing at a time when it comes to our brain, right? So if someone tells you a lie and they say, this person did that, that's going to be on your brain. That's what's going to be the thing that you think about most when you visualize that person, right? Even if it's the lie. You're going to think that because that's how God created us. So I just want you guys to understand that the devil is always trying to tweak things. Mm, no, you're a little, you right but wrong. Right but wrong. If somebody tells you something about somebody, yes, you're going you gonna to think you gonna think that about them until they change the narrative. That's how it goes. You change the narrative. But then again, like I said, when it comes to especially these um, these allegations, they don't go away that easy. They do not go away that easy. So that on that aspect, you, that's why I say you're wrong, but you're right. Because on that aspect, on the allegations part, you're right. Because once somebody is, is exposed for whatever it is, again, most people are only going to say it's not true or you won or beat the case because they didn't have enough evidence or they didn't want to file charges or it's going to be something. It's never, it's, it's, it's somewhat never just, oh, you, uh, you beat the case because they, they lied on you. For some people, it's, oh, you only won because they didn't have enough evidence. Like that, that'd be sad. That'd be sad. He's always trying to go with your brain. A lot of you guys know me for being a child influencer and kids like me and kids look up to me and I have these kids in my videos. So you already associate me with kids. And then the devil says, oh, wait, I'm going to throw this accusation out there. And then you guys start saying, well, he does have kids. He did have kids in his video. Well, maybe it's true. That's how the devil works. But I'm not here to tell you guys what to believe in. I'm going to show you. <laughs> You're going to see. So all of the negativity, all of the drama, all of the BS that you guys hear, I don't really care anymore because it's out of my control. In fact, like he's speaking fact though, like, look how it went for that uh for that teacher, the teacher that was uh letting his students take his take his hair down or braid his hair, whatever. One allegation and it was over. Everybody was on, oh my god, like yeah, he was doing he was doing this, he probably was doing it, he probably was grooming them, he probably was like, bruh, like I'm quite sure he was filming. He was filming these videos all this time, and then now it, it was no problem. But now, as soon as somebody throw the allegation, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's crazy. People got to stop doing that. But like sometimes, sometimes that you no, know, 
like you don't somebody don't don't give you a red flag and then until somebody shows you hey it's a possible red flag right there and then you start noticing you know the little kinks like hold on bro like yeah you is a little off like i wasn't noticing that first but now they they brought it to my attention now i started to see it but sometimes them tell you that or them throwing them a little red flag that, that you didn't see might make you judge somebody on something that they're not even close to doing it's just out of my control so sorry to say but none of you guys can offend me none of your words can bring me down my negativity ways all the drama ways i've had i'm over that it's gone i'm not doing that we're doing it the right way we're going to court and we're going to win and, and someone said hey man won't you uh prove that you're going to court oh, see what do you want my lawyer's number i'm confused i'm not putting my whole life on the internet anymore i'm putting out what i want to put out in the discussion but uh yeah thank you so much queen oh you said you were you wanted you said you blocked somebody so did you, so yeah, see, I have to get, I have to get out of this, uh, the internet is kind of a weird place. You have a bunch of negative people who sit at home, do nothing with their lives, and they hope the, the worst for people that they see doing better than them. That's what I have to understand. So my thing is now, when I'm utilizing the internet, if I'm not talking about something positive, then I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my life, I'm wasting my energy, I'm wasting my breath. So there we go. If you guys see me, just know I'm going to be positive. Even if I see your comments, even if I see you trying to break my character, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. My day is going great. And I'm feeling better than ever. Every day I feel better. Today, I feel way, way better. Way better. Because now I know that God is fighting my battles for me. I mean, yeah, I got lawyers that I have to pay. But do I really have to do that? No. God can win this battle alone alone but yeah this was just a random live I wanted to touch base with you guys show you how i was doing something super freaking cool that was so now happy 29th birthday to queen nyjah now she did celebrate by having a dinner with friends and clarence stating that he surprised her with something very special well anyways you guys leave your opinions on this and everything else in this video down in the comment section below so by the time y'all see this <laughs> Everything already didn't happen. Listen, the you know damage has already been done. Yeah, everything You're already. The was depleted. <laughs> <laughs> depleted on my the HP, phone. my HP is down right now for sure. HP low. I think we gotta go upstairs, right? You think Macy's got it? Yeah, that, I mean you said Macy's, right? Yeah. All right, y'all. So you at, you're looking at a, a really defeated man right now. I'm I'm be honest. Um, I just spent about. About 20. <laughs> about 20 something. 20 something. 20 something. <laughs> 20 20 you know what I'm saying? For my butt. You know what I'm saying? Jackson. It'd be, <laughs> it'd, be so, it'd be so easy for me to do that for Queen. I just want her birthday to be very special. And it, it was like meant to be, bro. Like when I show y'all what I got her, when I walked in the store and I was picking up everything else, A6, all this other shit. But when I seen this, I had to get it. I had to get it for her. And it's like, it was the color, the timing. It was like, someone was speaking to me type shit. Like, yo, this is what you do. Like, this is for you. Like, I saved this for you type shit. <laughs> you feel me? I saved this just for Queen. And that's what. No, 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 no. I got a feeling the next video after this about the, that's about them going to say he, he spent whatever he just said. 20,000, whatever, on whatever he got her, but he didn't buy a ring. That's gonna be the next video I watch. Nah, we don't need no custom shirts. Niggas, niggas, I just bought them. <laughs> <laughs> niggas don't know what is he. He's not being mindful. Because you don't know what niggas are spending in here. It's about to be a long night, a long day, y'all. Uh. I'm not gonna lie. It did save me a lot of time, though. Because I thought I was gonna be out. We was gonna be late to the thing, to the function, and all that. We're gonna be right on time. We out right after this. We gonna go get some candles, and we out. Queen's See, that's, birthday. That sounds like a proposal, bro. <laughs> yeah, my girlfriend sent him to come get a candle. That's eighty two dollars for Queen's birthday. Eighty two beans. Eighty two dollars. 
to be that kid. You know what I'm saying? But I, I like I like that he's like growing up though. Eighty two dollar like what is he supposed to do? Like is it is, is it gonna bring me good luck for the whole time that, that um it's there or something? Like what is it what is he gonna do? Other than give up a smell. A smell I can go get it with some Febreze. No, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, but eighty two nah that's that that's doing too much. But like cattle should be no more than five dollars. No more than five, five or ten dollars. That's it. That's what that's what having a girlfriend. Even that is reaching. You know what I'm saying? My would have probably went he would have probably went a hoodie before. You know, like hoodie or like you know. Some calm, like not like good gift. Good gift. But probably he would have probably went more thoughtful. You know what I mean? He'd have probably went a little more thoughtful than eighty two dollar candle. <laughs> Like the candle, that like you can't see that money. Like you don't see that every day. Like oh, when you gonna just... yeah. You too. She's not gonna wanna burn it. <laughs> She's not gonna wanna burn it. Why burn it? It literally gonna be burning and it's gonna be like, oh okay, there goes forty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. There goes forty. I got about forty left. Oh God, eighty-two dollar candle. You for sure going. You're only going to burn that on special occasions, anniversaries. <laughs> we gonna burn this every anniversary. We gonna only burn. Gonna let it burn right before we buy the crush, and then put it out. Like other than that, no. Like that's crazy though.